Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about a new Star Wars show that may or may not happen because we don't know what's going on with Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And uh, Disney tends to announce a lot of things and then they disappear. Yeah, I love how they're announcing this. We don't have any money. We had to lay off a bunch of people. I'm sorry, furlough a bunch of people. But we can totally announce this. Well, the other video I was talking about how Hollywood now, they're... Uh, enacting force majeure, which is when they can shut down a production or shut down a project because of an act of God. And they're using the coronavirus to to basically save money on stuff. And it's already happened with uh, Marvel, some of the Marvel Okay, stuff. then why aren't they, but instead they're turning around and announcing this? Yeah, that's what's interesting. Disney's cutting corners, Disney's laying people off, Disney's pulling the plug on productions, but they're announcing another Disney Plus Star Wars show with a female lead, okay set in an alternate timeline. Yep. So... And it's martial arts, too. It's Kung Fu Star Wars with a female lead in an alternate timeline. Is this the appeal to China? Is that... Oh, my God. Is that the, is that the timeline that they're trying to push in the books? Because they were doing that. They were doing... They were putting books out and, and they were translating them into, like, Mandarin and different things to try to up the Star Wars. <laughs> Instead of the Mandalorian. <laughs> Mandarin. It's the Mandarin. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm trying to wrap my head. I mean, look, nothing would surprise me anymore because Lucasfilm has colossally fucked up Star Wars. I don't understand this. I'm like, do you like losing money? Yes. I mean, is there like is there like a, a contest going on who can lose the most? I'm trying to understand this because this is dumb. That's called socialism, darling. This is just dumb. It's a contest to see who can get to the bottom of the barrel fastest. I'm sorry, did I just say that out loud? I didn't mean to. So Hollywood, uh, their infinite wisdom, they're announcing the show. So again, sounds fine, the alternate timeline. This sounds like freaking J.J. Abrams' Star Trek all over again. Kind of, yeah. At first I was like, okay, female-led Star Wars show, here we go. And I'm like, oh, they're gonna find a way to make it, you know, Mara Jade or something and ruin it. And then it became a martial arts element thriller show in an alternate timeline. So here we go. This is coming from Russian Dolls, uh, Leslie Headland. She, uh, it's in the works at Disney Plus. Everybody announces stuff in the works, even if it doesn't actually get made because they want to piss well, off. Right it. now they're just trying to get any news out that they can get because they're trying to bury the news of we might not open for who knows how long. Right. So female focused Star Wars series from the Russian Doll. I've never watched Russian Doll. I have no idea what it is. Uh, it's on Netflix. Uh, so Disney Plus is developing a female centered Star Wars series that will be written and show run by one person, Leslie Headland, co-creator of drama Dramedy. So we might have some Dramedy. Comedy. Dramedy Russian Doll. Have Never not, seen Russian Doll. Have not seen it. It might be good. So I have actually no, I'm not basing this on, on her merit. I'm basing it on the merit of the idea, which is dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. I don't, I don't know. Deadline has confirmed the gist of the series. Oh God, here we go. While the exact plot is under wraps, but the series is understood to be a female driven action thriller with martial arts element set Set in an alternate timeline from the usual Star Wars universe. Okay, so we, okay. Disney so, declined to comment. To make sure they hit all the right boxes, it's going to be done by a female director, but it's going to be a female driven action thriller with martial arts. So it's going to be Mara Jade, but she's either going to be, she's going to be either a black ninja or, or an Asian ninja. Oh no, he has to be Asian ninja because black ninja would not be happening because it had to be Asian. But they have to take the right <laughs> That's head. why we can't. Cause, no, that, that's what Hollywood has just determined. Um, that if you're a martial artist, you have to be Asian. So it's going to be an Asian Mara Jade by a female director um, in an alternate timeline where uh, women are in charge of everything. This is just batshit. So I'm thinking, okay, alternate timeline. So are we going back to the actual Star Wars universe? Because I was wondering that. Or expanded universe. They're going to try to pull something with the expanded universe because that's what people wanted. Mar Mara Jade. Does that's she why know I said it's going to be Mara Jade. Does she know Kung Fu? Well, there doesn't um, matter. She's a redhead. So obviously she's not going to be a redhead when they put her on screen. So is this uh, Tara Cassie or something like the Star Wars Kung Fu? I don't understand because they had I a game know. about it. I This just sounds... Okay, so the alternate universe thing. This opens up a whole nother... A whole nother... So anything's... Because so, it's Disney alternate universe, that'll be canon. But expanding universe still isn't. Yeah, so... This is dumb. I'm sorry. Flat out. It's stupid. You know what? I'm because look, she seems like most of her experience is with like drama shows, and I'm I'm wondering if this is how they sidestep canon because we've we've seen before in the past what they do is they either 
they bring people in that are not uh, genre writers. They're mm -hmm. not science fiction writers or fantasy writers, and they don't feel like uh, absorbing uh, absorbing all of the uh, the little minutia of the world that they're supposed to be writing in. So what they do is they they reboot it. Uh, they toss out details. They ignore it like the expanded universe. Yeah, like comics. Like comics. So is this our way of getting her in there? And she's probably like, well, I don't really know anything about Star Wars. That's okay. This is an alternate universe. You mean like the DC uh, uh, YA novel that they yeah. did with Batman, where now he's he's not Batman and he's Asian. Or he's Batman, but he's Asian and all this other crap for no reason. And, and Alfred's gay and all this other stuff. Yeah. You mean like that? Just completely reboot it. So now we're going to have what? They're going to have, you know, Darth Vader running around, but Darth Vader has tits now. Uh... I, I, I don't know. It's alternate timeline. That, so, what? Oh, so Luke Skywalker in this timeline is Darth Vader? Because, you know... Oh, my God. Yeah, we have to we have to ruin Luke. We have to completely ruin Luke. On the upside to this, if we're looking for that, that shiny little uh, golden kernel of corn in the feces, the upside is that that means that they can basically undo anything now. They can undo the last trilogy and replace it with something even shittier. They can go back and remake 4, 5, and 6. Because you know, that goes over so well in every other franchise they've tried this with. I'm like, seriously, how dumb are these people? I just don't get it. I just, I don't get it. I mean, okay, the female-led Star Wars film, I was like, okay, okay, you know, of course they are, whatever. But then when they said alternate timeline, I'm like, whoa. A whoa, of, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, a lot of people didn't catch that. Actually, fandom caught it on Twitter and they're like, what the hell does this mean? I'm like, yeah, that's a damn good question. What the hell does this mean? Alternative uh, timeline. So they're talking about how it's the uh, latest Disney Plus original series in the Star Wars universe. Which one? Following the successful Mandalorian. Uh, and they're talking about how Cara Dune kicked butt. Cara Dune is a good character. There are really good, and you know, that's something else. I get so tired of hearing about that everybody kept female characters down, which is a load of shit because I've been a Star Wars fan since I was like little, little and female characters have been part of Star Wars and kick-ass female characters have been a part of Star Wars from the beginning. There have been female Star Wars fans for decades. This whole idea they just somehow invented it because they put Rey in there is, is, is insulting to all the, the strong female characters that came before. Yeah, I, I just can't... Uh, again, I don't... Uh, I, I've completely checked out, other than The Mandalorian, I've checked out on Disney Star Wars, but the fact that they're already talking alternate timelines. Right. And we saw how that went over with Star Trek. That is a load of shit. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not going to play well, but it doesn't matter. This is a Disney Plus show. It's probably five years away. What? Yeah, well, because it has to be. Because what happened to Bob Iger saying that they weren't going to be doing pilots for shows that they you know, they weren't going to actually produce? Well, they're going straight to series for her. Well, no, they, they, I thought they were just in discussions. No, they said she's developing it. Well, developing it doesn't mean you actually get it. It goes through the whole way. Well, that's You're developing true. an idea. That's true. And if but the idea is bullshit. It, they're putting it out there to try to, 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 to solidify it. You know, because normally when something's in development, you might not hear about it. Um, a lot of things go to development hell, and you never hear about it. But they're making sure they put it all over the, the internet and all over the media to try to drum up support for it to push it through. And I, it has nothing to do with this woman. I don't know her from Adam. It has everything to do with the fact that it's a really stupid idea. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Um, this is dumb. This is definitely put the cart before the horse. Then we've got the High Republic coming out. This Like, look, th this is the future of Star Wars. Alternative timelines and diversity in dinosaurs. I was going to say, the, the High Republic, when you even read the character descriptions, they're ridiculous. Garbage. Like, we're, we're going to have deeper characters. How? They're like, they're all the bestest, greatest, most wonderful ever. It's like you're writing your own OCs into everything, and it's really annoying. And, and my problem with this isn't so much that they're having a female-led series. I don't think many people care. You know, they're like, okay, as long as it's a good character, who cares? The problem is, is that they're like alternate timeline and, and kung fu or martial arts or whatever. Yeah, I, I can't even wrap my head around Sounds it. like they're going to try to go after China again. They're, they're going after China. Well, again, those books. Well, China's probably got to build Disney out with because, you know. So here we go. Deadline Hollywood. I just had to throw this in there. Uh, Rise of Skywalker, lowest profit of Disney trilogy titles. Yeah, because The Last Jedi killed Star Wars. Yeah. Um, Star Wars is a... Look, we talked about it the other day. Star Wars is... 
It might not be dead, but it's very badly burnt. But what I love, I love, and I mean this as sarcastically as possible, about all these articles from the, from the Hollywood sources, is they all keep going through the Rise of Skywalker and saying it was the lowest one. See, see, people just didn't like it because they like Last Jedi. No, the reason it's shit is because at that point you pissed everyone off. Yeah. And the last, people hated the Last Jedi. You can track it all back to the last flipping Jedi. The, the fact that you let Ryan Johnson do whatever the hell he wanted, and he even joked about the fact he was doing it on purpose, ruin it, and then attack the fans when they didn't like it, that, all the toy sales, everything, all bottomed out after The Last Jedi. Rise of Skywalker was collateral damage, but they keep blaming it on Rise of Skywalker now because these people are the same people who white knighted so hard for The Last Jedi. I'm waiting for them to blame the failure of The Rise of Skywalker at the box office. Now, People are gonna be like, "Man, made a billion dollars." Coronavirus? Yeah. Yes, like, yes, they probably will. They'll be like, "Everything is that. Everything's coronavirus's fault." In an alternative, uh, alternate timeline, it went back in time, and the coronavirus started a couple of months earlier, and that 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 was the reason that. Star I just Wars think that they, they must love losing money. Uh, Disney is not in a position to lose any money. I really have to wonder how many of these projects that have been announced will disappear over the next year because Disney is running out of money. They don't have the money for this shit. Well, no, but that means like, they're not even picking things that are going to do well. That's no. what gets me. Like, oh, we want to probably do well. Cassie Mandor, I, I think it'll do okay. Not as um, well as Obi-Wan. Yeah. Um, the Mandalorian did really well because it was like very, felt very Star Wars-y and Mandalorian, like Boba Fett type thing. Um, but this... You know, immediately, and it's not even about a new. It's, it's, you're, you're, what you're told about the new show is right off. It's a female-led show. Right there, you just turn people off. Because every time we hear female-led anything, we know is going to be an agenda. People don't give a shit. They're so tired of you guys. We heard female-led Star Wars last time, and we got Ray. They're fighting with them, saying that they, they never said alternate timeline. Uh, they most certainly did. They most certainly did. Set in an alternate timeline from the usual Star Wars universe. They absolutely. Said, and they snuck it in there. They snuck it in there. Um, it's not going to go well, guys. Yeah, I, f I feel like that. <laughs> this sounds terrible. Exactly. It takes place in a different part. Set in an alternate timeline. Sounds more like it takes place in a time that hasn't been seen on screen. That makes it a young Yaddle show. Uh, it's an alternate timeline. So we can make uh, characters we don't we, that we want to you know take away. Uh, like, like bad. You want to make Luke bad. Probably Luke's evil. Because that's what they've been trying to do oh the whole God. time. Um, Dr. Afra. Wait, I love this. Yay, Karate Star Wars. <laughs> karate Star Wars. Had me until alternate timeline. So maybe they just, maybe they, they, they hopefully screwed up and, and meant like, oh, an un, unseen part of Star Wars Yeah, history. I don't think people care about that. Like, you know, because we know going forward, we're going to get new shit that never was done because they've already ruined the old shit. So they got to make new shit. So, um... We're, I, we're, we already figured we we're going to do this. The problem was, as soon as you start off with, oh, female showrunner, all fe you know, female-led, whatever, uh, that, that's my problem with it. Because as a woman, I used to be like, oh, yay, female-led stuff. Until it became, that was that was the point. I mean, it wasn't like it was a good character who had me female. It was the fact that she was female was her character, you know? And that's what I'm worried about. Uh, this is not an alternate timeline. said nothing about alternate timeline. Alternate timeline from the usual Star Wars universe. I don't know. I don't know. Sounds no alternate timelines. Don't say alternate timeline. This ain't Trek. Exactly. Uh, it's gonna stop be. ruining the galaxy far, far away, please. How are they ruining? Oh, where do we begin, Tony? Oh God. Um. So yeah, there you go, guys. Um. Yeah. I have no interest. Zero. I'm just, I'm just so sick of it, guys. <laughs> the train wreck. I, I, I get more frustrated than you because I still care. So I get more frustrated than you do because you don't care anymore. He, he really does. And he's just like, I don't care. I am completely numb to Star Wars at this point. Other I than to make care. fun of it, I don't give a shit. I actually care. And I know. What, and, I did, and you know, the female thing, my first thought was, okay, they're leading with that, which means, again, being female is a character description. Not It's not a good character who happens to be female. Being female is who the character is. Which yeah. you see what these, when they lead with these... Um, these, you know, descriptors instead of, you know, a, a character star. Like, if you, it was a male run show, you wouldn't say male led. It would just say new Star Wars show coming with new characters. That's what they'd say. But when they're like, oh, female led show. And I'm like, okay, even then I'm still like, okay, okay, okay. Could be cool. And then followed with, even though I keep thinking of Ray and Rose Tico and Holdo, and I remember how great those female characters were. Um, and then they go to alternate timeline. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Yeah. And, and, and martial arts. 
Hot trash in the making, guys. Here we go. Uh, hot trash. Don't Disney. Touch Mara Jade. Disney. If you haven't learned, yeah, I think I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they're gonna ruin Mara Jade. But they're, it's gonna be alternate Mara Jade. So whatever. Um, Disney. If you learn nothing from the shutdown this year, it's, you're gonna have to learn. You gotta make stuff that makes money. Yeah, you, you, you gotta not. make stuff that makes money. You're not going to be able to have any margin for error. And this is just not a good sign. Not a good sign. Maybe they were working on this before the shutdown. But why announce it now? Their hands are out. They're asking the government for bailout money. They're just they're under fire already because they just furloughed a whole bunch of people. But yet the the, the executives took 1.5 billion in bonuses, and now they're going to announce this. I mean, you guys, your 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 PR isn't that good to begin with. Yeah, it's not a good look. You don't. Guys. People aren't really liking you right now as it is, and then you announce this. All right, so go wrap this one up. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.